Hello and welcome to this quick video. This is about how you can set up six flight modes on the six switches on something like a RadioMaster TX16S to be the six flight modes on something like a Pixhawk using some like RD Pilot. So for example, if I just put one this image over the mission planner, here we are looking at the six flight modes. If I put the left hand button, flight mode one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now this used to be a lot more complicated. The way that the spacing was all done inside of Mission Planner and Ardu Pilot was a little bit different. However, it's really easy to do now. So all you need to do is pretty standard stuff. On the inputs, what I've done is I've added another setting called Mode. So I'm just show you what that looks like. So I've set, created an input that is selecting the six position switch at the top. And I've changed two things. I've changed the weight to 66% and I've put an offset of minus one. You can probably get away without that, but that just means that as I move the channel, you watch as I press the buttons up top, you can see it's kind of stepping up through each of those values. Once you've done that, then all I've done is I've added because this is Ardu Plane, that this version that I'm particularly playing with here, it is set for channel eight. I've created an output that's connected to that input, not changed anything. And that now means that as I move the control, the six position switch, it corresponds to the different flight modes and I can set them up however I want. So hopefully that helps those of you that are looking at this kind of stuff. Historically, you had to do a lot of messing about. I've got a couple of videos on that. However, with modern RD Pilot, the way that the spread is done for the PWL, PWM values means that if you just change this little thing, ch change your input, change the weights to 66%, your offset are minus one, it should map beautifully. So you can get full six flight modes on your six position switch. Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.